Well, I'm working on this uh, Dell XPS 1, is what it's called. I looked at the service tag on Dell's website, and that's what came up. Uh, the customer's uh, saying that when it turns on, there's no video, there's action, there's lights, there's, but there's no video, and that's a true fact. Uh, it couldn't do anything. Uh, as I did hit enter on the keyboard, and windows did come up. I heard the sounds, so it's not coming out here. So before I dig into it, what I did is I hooked up uh, the plug that goes in the back to RCA, RCA it out into my um, my video 4 on my TV, and the TV's up and running, and I, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and turn on the computer, and you see all the lights light up on it, everything happens, so now to see if it actually comes out on the TV, before I actually open this thing up and I get to the video card, right now nothing's happening. You heard the beep, I hope. Hey, hi there. <laughs> so, so um, uh, there's activity on the hard drive. That's right there. The thing's happening, but nothing coming out over here. So it's indeed a video card. It's not like it's uh, HDMI and comes out and automatically detects. I just hooked up to something. It's through this uh, plug that goes in the back. And without seeing anything, I can't force it. Well, I was just wondering if the customer actually had an external monitor and was complaining about not having the video coming up on the computer. So I guess it's time to open it up and uh, check what's inside. So here's the uh, Dell XPS 1. Uh, I have it laying on the uh, table, uh, face down. Nothing's underneath it to bother the... Uh, to bother the screen, okay, and there's two screws. There's one right there and one on the other side, which is actually missing courtesy of whoever worked on it last. So you want to remove those two screws. Well, here we are. The screw's out, the one screw, and it's right there. You're going to take, come up here and use your fingers. Um, you're going to push down on the top where the speaker is, and you're going to take your palm and push that way. So just grab it and pull it up forward and lift it up. It's only going to come up about a quarter of an inch. You're going to take this whole thing off. I'm removing the, the foot the foot stand, okay? So uh, one, one screw's there, one screw off Phillips head, another screw's here, another screw's here. On the other side, there's only three screws. So one here, one there, and one there. Make sure you keep them all together so you know where they go. We're going to remove the hard drive now. You're going to need your small screwdriver. There's three screws to remove it. They're very visible from the top. They're black. So there's one here, one here, and one here. Uh, just take these out. Okay, that's three screws. Lift it right out. And just connect your power and your SATA cables. And right here, there's a cable that's going over it. And you've got to be careful. I'm going to try and get the light up over here so you can see it. So you got to be careful about that cable. So work around it, push the button down and release these. There's no button on the uh, SATA cable, just on the power cable and there's your hard drive. Move the light around so you can see over here. My hand's going to be in the way a bit. So uh, you got to take your power cable and slide it on. It only goes on one way. Get, uh, give a tug on it, make sure it's on all the way too, because this has a clip. Alright, and put the power cable on. All right, make sure they're on real good, set it back down, and line it up. There is actually a lot, uh, there is uh, something you have to get underneath. There's a little, a little tab. Let me show, see if I can show it to you. This little tab right here has to go underneath. And then they sit down. And then put your three screws back down. So, so uh, I don't have to show you that. Just put your three screws back down, make sure you don't drop anything out. Now, unlike my touch screen and the other HP uh, flat screen, the only one, this has big chips. Like if it goes to desktop, the memory chips are, are large. It's the same thing that goes into a desktop computer. So uh, I've showed this in other videos. You want to be careful here about your electric static discharge when you're working inside this thing. You pull these two tabs out. See how it pushes that out? And you lift this up. 
All right, make sure you're touching it on the sides. You can touch on top of the chips. I don't know if the chips on that yet. You can touch on both sides of the chips, but don't touch the circuitry on this and don't touch the pins. When you put it back in, if you get this backwards, uh, the keyway down here is not going to line up. All right, so slide it down inside the two, uh, two right areas. The, it rides down and you push it down and bring these in. You push down and a click, and your RAM is in there. These come with one gig RAM. And I think uh, you could throw two gigs in each side. I'm not really sure what the max on this is. We're, we're aiming to get to the uh, wireless network card, which is over here. There's another card there too, but that's the wireless network card. To get to that, we have to get to this uh, this uh, top plate off. There's one, two, three black screws. Now we already took black screws out of the, the hard drive, so you got to push down and really turn it because it's on there good. And slide that baby off. Let's see if I can get that screw. Got it. All right. So here's where our wireless network. The way you can tell a wireless network card. All right. If you move this out. It has connections up there. Normally there's two, but this has three. Now you, you have to back these off. I'm not taking this out because it's a, I, it's not a bad card at all or a bad computer. But you have to lift these up and uh, they come right off. All right, on two, screw, two screws here and then slide this that way, going that way with it. Then you pop it out and put it back in. Really shouldn't be any reason. These hardly ever go bad. All right, so I'm just showing you that. There's uh, something else I want to show you here. Let me get the camera down there and zoom in. That's on the top of the video, but that's fine. Here's your uh, BIOS chip. That's right there. You take a screwdriver or something and you pop this guy out. And it pops up, and there you are. All right, what that just did is it erased everything in the BIOS. The boot sequence, everything. Uh, but if your battery goes bad, and this takes a DL2032 battery. You put it back on the far side first and then just push it down and it snaps back in. Here's your AC power, that's all your USB ports and so on. And right here is your TV uh, card. This, uh, this has two screws again and one piece like we had on the uh, WAN card. Uh, you just pop this cable straight up and take these two screws out and back it out that way and replace it. Once again, I've never seen one of these fail. So there's no reason to really remove it unless you're salvaging this uh, this computer. Okay, the graphics card is underneath this heatsink. Now there's your CPU, that's your fan. Very clean, in fact. The fans look really clean. But to show you where about this is located at, here's your power, where you hook up. There's your uh, memory chips, a BIOS chip, and there's your graphics card. We're going to get in there and take a look. I'm going to reseat the card and try it out. There's six screws that we have to take out. We have the click -in. There we go. And pull it out that way. There is some uh, liquid on the bottom. Just leave that on. Because that stuff doesn't dry at all. Alright, there's two screws. There's one right here. And make sure you can see this. One right there and one right there. We don't want to touch the circuit board in the wrong places so you got to be careful with this. Once again if you're uh, not grounded just touch the frame and you'll be grounded. Now these I'm going to put these right in the middle of the black screws over here because they're silver screws. I want to take a look at the underside of this. It lifted up. So as soon as I did that, this thing lifted up, going that way. That's a chip. Is there a chip on the other side? I want to grab the sides and the top of that chip and wiggle it back and forth to pull it out. There's still a screw in there, so I want to get that and set it over there. So that's the video card screw. And that's the video card. So I don't see any burned chips. At all. So what I'm going to do is just set this right back in. I'm 
and line up the keyway that's right there, wiggle it back in, and push it and seat it all the way. You're not going to get the screws in unless that is all the way back in. It lifts up again. Take your screws. These are very small screws. So um, I hold it into place, push this down, and put the screw in. Okay. And grab the other one. The, I know I took the plate off up there. Uh, took the hard drive out. Really don't need the hard drive in to test this. Uh, just need the heat sink put back on this video card. And I can actually, without keyboard, mouse, or anything, I just want to see something up on the screen. So the heat sink, where did I put that thing? Right there. Okay, start now. The heat sink. It's right here. So we're going to line that up. That one goes on top of that one. This one over here. Slide it underneath this guy. And straight down on top of wherever the screws go in. And I see a screw hole over there. So you want to look for those and kind of line it up. Believe me, they're not going to go in unless they're over. And there we go. It seats down, sits down nicely. In fact, the two screw holes, uh, the screws are visible on the video card. And I'm going to put this all the way back down. Okay, that's the video card. This is the uh, power supply up here. You get the light better on that, I guess. Um, the cables over here that was kind of in the way of the hard drive run from where you hook up your power and it runs up here. There's one, two, three, four, five screws to take out. When you take this out, you need to lift this end up and pull it that way because there's brackets here. You can't pull it straight out. So you got to pull it that way to do it. Hopefully you never have to change this. Uh, it looks, uh, per this is a proprietal item to this computer so it's not like any other. So it has a down slope on this side to go with the, the figure of the whole computer so you'd have to purchase that probably from Dell or eBay um, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a pretty penny. Well I scanned the hard drive uh, no, no problems as far as physical stuff like smart card or anything but uh, the antivirus software I have uh, found three potential problems uh, I'm look at details and here they are Okay. Don't think any of these causes anything uh, as far as uh, as far as the video goes. But still, this is something I do. I'm going to apply the actions and uh, clean these up. So I'm going to put the hard drive back in, put the computer back together, and uh, see if I get any video out of it. So resetting the video card and cleaning up the hard drive. All right, and uh, that's what we're going to try now. I'm in the process of putting the the stand back on, and there's something that you really have to be careful about. And it's these cables right here as you put this part back in. Uh, so just when you put this thing down, make sure you're looking around. Uh, on the right side and left side that all the holes line up. All the connectors up inside here line up. And, uh, and definitely the hole down there, it might have to go back and everything seats into place. Okay, uh, you may want to put a screw on the base here and on the other side. And the screw may be up here to hold it down because the weight is counteracted. It's not really counteracting, it's actually falling towards you. Well, we're getting ready to close this thing up. You want to make sure your memory chips are um, seated in and plugged in. Everything, all the screws are down. Take one good look off. Start from the right. Work your way over to the, right, to the left. Make sure all the screws are in. Nothing loose. Okay, this is back on there nice and good. And then we're going to go go in complete reverse of what we did before when we took this thing off. So we're going to put it up about a um, quarter inch or so. Or less. I think that's from like a, yeah, it's about a quarter inch. It sits down. Okay. Looks pretty even. And we slide it toward us. So I'd say it went on pretty easy. Uh, when this is done, there's one screw here, one screw here that we took off before. We use a smaller Phillips head to do that. I'm going to put this right back in where it was when I took it out. I did inform the customer that uh, he has one screw missing. So 
So this is what holds on the back, and I couldn't find another screw that matches it. And he had stated that his brother or somebody, uh, a friend of his, uh, um, took it apart trying to fix it. So anyway, uh, this concludes this video. I uh, hope you like, uh, you know, it was helpful in some way. I need to test it now, see if the video actually works, of uh, the display on this actually works. Subscribe if you want, and see a lot more. Bye.